my apologies for not being not uh, with you in Spain in Yebes. Uh, and uh, also for, for this uh, limited capabilities in presenting. Congratulations to the colleagues from uh, Chico's Japan for 10 years. <laughs> we are very envious about that and also for the uh, Two Boy Prize. Um, and uh, I will give a status report on Chico's DACH also on behalf of the colleagues involved. Uh, starting with some general information, I think most of you will know it, but some of you may not. So there is a long and uh, su successful tradition in the DACH countries, Germany, Austria and Switzerland, with respect to GIGOS related issues in terms of scientific work, a lot of research work uh, in this field, but also technological infrastructural work on ground stations, also on satellites. And um, if you just look at the list of participants, also with respect to participating uh, participation in contribution to respective committees. And this is more or less uh, with the Department of Geodesy of the German Geodetic Commission as Exchange Forum. We are the second uh, GIGOS affiliate after GIGOS Japan, as uh, Basara just mentioned. We were approved um, two and a half years ago by GIGOS Coordinating Board. Our um, objectives are a little bit different uh, compared to those of uh, GIGOS Japan because we already have some organizational structures in this regard. So we want to be basis and forum for GIGOS related activities in the DAF region, but also stimulate and incubator for GIGOS related coordinated research. And um, to this end, we also have a white paper um, called Geodesy 2030, first published in German 2019, translated to English uh, in the last year, which was prepared by the members of this department, Geodesy of the German Geodetic Commission. This just gives you the internet link where you can obtain this white paper. This addresses uh, space infrastructure, ground infrastructure, um, but, but also everything which is related uh, to, to this uh, observation network, the data which we get, the models which we need, uh, and uh, research work on this, uh, research questions in particular. So what is the present status? Um, looking at uh, the research uh, aspect, proposal of joint uh, research activity, we originally planned uh, to have a research unit uh, for the, uh, from the German uh, um, funding agency um, DFG, with, uh, which uh, addresses uh, the GIGOS vision, quantifying our planet changes in space and time for the sake of advancing our understanding of the dynamic Earth system, but also addressing the GIGOS mission with respect to the duality of uh, the observing system on the one hand and the global geodetic reference frame uh, on the other hand. We have an established mindset, the three pillars of geodesy. I will come back to that uh, in a minute. And we have a general approach uh, in this uh, joint uh, activity, a co comprehensive integration and exploitation of observation and modelings beyond what is already studied and done, and also an inclusion of innovative observation techniques. For this purpose, we had a call of participation in 2021 with a lot of good and strong responses from university and research institutions from all three countries. We organized a DFG roundtable to, to gather interested uh, colleagues and also to, to set up uh, the main idea. Um, this was done in 2021 and we had a lot of follow-up work on project ideas and also the development of overarching research objective with the goal, uh, goal of improved and enhanced observation capabilities. And just a few slides on that. You are all aware of the three pillars, which are indicated in the middle of this figure, geometry, earth rotation, and gravity field. This, on the one hand, refers to space geodetic techniques, on the other hand, to earth system models. And if we 
try to integrate the three pillars. We also need to integrate more or less the full picture. And uh, on the right hand side, with, we see in an abbreviated way the um, mission statements of Chigos. So this means integration. From a more operational point of view, we also have to look at a triangle, also very familiar. I call it triangle of geodesy, observation models, geodetic models, and process models. Observation models referring to the global geodetic networks, but also to the space segment, the geodetic models looking at providing geodesy-based products, standards uh, with respect to geometry, baseline uh, length change on the left-hand side, but also uh, total water storage uh, variations on the right-hand side, which is very important uh, with respect to climate research. And then, of course, finally, considering uh, the purpose of geodetic observation, we also need to look at process models and uh, one important process with respect to climate change is sea level rise. This is indicated here. And more, uh, more generally, this, uh, this uh, addresses unique contributions to the grand challenges of sea level rise. And uh, we need integrated observation to achieve this. Um, also, some kind of integrated look where there are many working steps which need to be done but uh, which cannot be considered individually because they are interacting. So this is, again, some kind of integration which we need to consider with respect to Earth observation by means of GIGAS. And this needs to be referred to, underlined by uh, a proper geodetic reference. And that's where, what we are looking at at the moment, talking about we also need meaningful applications from other disciplines, interdisciplinary approaches. So this is really a task. Looking at the present status, um, again, we have a good exchange and cooperations with Chigos Japan. Basara already mentioned that. We have presentations on various occasions, for example, when the National Geodetic Commissions meet, also uh, during Chigos days like uh, today, like now, we give presentations, but we were also involved in the IUGG General Assembly 2023 in Berlin. On the one hand, I acted as co-convener of Symposium G6, which was very successful. And I uh, also gave an oral presentation in G6 on Chigos DACH. Coming back uh, to the planned coordinated research proposal, we decided to prepare a DFG priority program instead of a research unit because uh, we really have a strong contributions from many persons in geodesy. But uh, we saw that we could improve our proposal by making it more interdisciplinary. And that's what we are working on today. This is also my final slide. Um, we found that uh, the FG priority program is the most suiting funding scheme with respect to our situation, geographically distributed research groups and um, funding, reasonable funding as possible. Um, priority programs aim to give clear impetus to the advancement of science and humanities through coordinated multi-location funding for important new topics. And uh, what is written in, um, as in, in the subtext, this is what I just mentioned before. There are, and this also needs to be considered, there is already successful um, scientific work in this respect funded by DFG, by other groups. We also try uh, to, to um, improve complementarity in this regard. So our outline is to concentrate on Chigos as integrated observing system. We identify and enable outstanding Chigos based interdisciplinary applications and we specifically enhance the comprehensive geodetic frame of reference in terms of integrating the three pillars of geodesy. That's where we are at the moment. So as I said, in contrast to Chigos Japan, we are addressing um, 
a joint research proposal and hopefully next time I can, you, can give you more insight in, in this activity. So for the moment, thank you very much for listening.